Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This is only a quick one. There's been a new Microsoft Flight Simulator update and obviously there's many, many gigabytes to download and you have to do it in the stupid, broken Microsoft Flight Simulator download manager, which as you can see is using 50% pretty much of my GPU. Well, let's say okay, 40% to be charitable. It's still a hundred times more than it should be. Uh, but you can see it's because it's running at hundreds of frames per second. So, if you want to fix this, uh, here's how to do it, at least with an NVIDIA graphics card. Open up the NVIDIA control panel, and I assume you can do something similar with the ATI graphics cards. Uh, it was called Catalyst back in the day. Uh, find your program in Manage 3D Settings, uh, change the maximum frame rate, and just minimize it down to 20, because it shouldn't really need to do anything while it's just downloading. And then load the game back up. Easy. I mean, why Microsoft couldn't do this, I don't know. Uh, it's just bananas. But this is the situation we're in. Obviously, don't forget to put it back up again after your download's finished. Otherwise, your game will look terrible. <laughs> That's about it. But there you go. Results. Low CPU, low GPU. You might actually be able to do something else while waiting for the many, many, many hours for the really, really slow, stupid downloads in this download manager. Okay. That's all. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.